doing these sort of outside of the box approaches that are hands-on has really cemented learning for our students. There's so many amazing opportunities that we've gotten from the Green Healthy Schools. My favorite by far is the Food Waste Warriors Project, in which of course we measure how much waste is lost uh, in one particular day. We've had about 580 some pounds of food wasted in that one day, and then students and staff came up with ideas of how to reduce that footprint. We have a fantastic program in which we do the shared table snacks and stuff, a campaign with parents to not send in foods that they know their students will just simply throw away, and then some work in our cafeteria as well to see what things we could do. So that's just one of the ways that the partnership with Green and Healthy Schools has been amazing for Levin. Guys, having a great day? Yeah. I heard you went outside to help clean up. Did you go help clean up? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what are you guys making? They're working on um, projects for life cycles, animal life cycles. My first responsibility is that teachers need to educate students on the curriculum that the county's provided. Doing these sort of outside of the box uh, approaches that are hands-on has really cemented learning for our students. They get a chance to still work with the county mandated learning and curriculum, but it brings it to life. <laughs> We're just passing by. <laughs> It also allows students to realize, hey, I have power to impact my surroundings. So they take the initiative of composting to make the environment better, uh, waste reduction to make the environment better, taking care of our chickens. But as a cluster, we do try and do a lot of work with ag STEM, fusing STEM with agriculture, and food is an important piece. And our students and teachers as well do a wonderful job incorporating the science, technology, engineering, math into that area. And what's also been great is that we have taken opportunities for community service. So our students with the eggs from the chickens here and the vegetables and stuff from our grow towers and aquaponics, we actually donate those to our families in need. Uh, and every weekend things are sent home for those families and so our students get a chance for that community service experience as well. Teamwork and collaboration, planning and execution, everything being hands-on and problem-solving issues, those are all skills we're preparing our students for, for a world that we have no clue what it'll look like when they are adults. Some of the jobs that exist right now, cybersecurity, weren't in existence 10, 15 years ago to the scale they are. We have no clue what our students will face in the world, but we can prepare them for basic skills. This approach allows them to grow in those areas, getting ready for a future that's theirs, their todays versus our tomorrows.